everyone and welcome to this detailed video on how to use ChatGPT. In this session, we'll understand how to get started on using ChatGPT, look at how versatile ChatGPT can be and understand its capabilities better. So without further ado, here's a look at the agenda for this video. First, what is ChatGPT? Then we'll talk about how does ChatGPT work. Then we'll look into how to use ChatGPT and what can you use ChatGPT for. And with that, we'll conclude. But before we begin, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. Starting with, what is ChatGPT? So ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI that is designed to engage in conversations with humans using natural language. It has been trained on massive amount of text data and is able to answer questions, provide information and generate text on a wide range of topics. ChatGPT's goal is to provide helpful and informative responses that are as human-like as possible, while still operating within its limits of its programming and training. Its ability to understand and respond to natural language queries makes it a powerful tool for a wide range of applications, from customer service and support to educational and research purposes. So how does ChatGPT work? ChatGPT is based on a deep learning architecture called a transformer, which is specifically designed for natural language processing. The transformer model is pre-trained on a large corpus of text data, allowing it to learn patterns and relationships in language. When a user inputs a question or prompt, ChatGPT processes the text and generates a response based on the patterns and relationships it has learned from the pre-training. The response is generated using a probabilistic approach, meaning that ChatGPT considers multiple potential responses and selects the most likely one based on its understanding of the input text. To improve its performance, ChatGPT can be fine-tuned on specific tasks or domains using additional training data. This allows it to adapt to different contexts and improve its accuracy and relevance in generating responses. Overall, ChatGPT works by leveraging a massive amount of pre-existing text data and using advanced deep learning techniques to generate responses to natural language queries. Let's move on to how to use ChatGPT. Starting with steps to register. So after going on the ChatGPT website, you will see two options, that is login and sign up. If you do not have an OpenAI account, you can go ahead and click sign up. After doing so, you will see this page where you can enter your email address and other information to create your account. Third, enter your personal information, which is your name, to proceed further as displayed here. You will have to enter your phone number to receive a code which will verify your details that will look like this. After setting up your account, you will see pop-up messages like this where you will come across the preview of ChatGPT. Clicking on next, you will understand how your data will be used. Clicking on next again, you will see a feedback page. By clicking on done, you will be ready to use ChatGPT. Here, you will see the examples for the kind of questions you can ask and what capabilities of ChatGPT are and its limitations. Moving on to features and limitations, starting with features of ChatGPT, ChatGPT can understand and respond to natural language queries, making it very easy for users to interact with it. Second, ChatGPT has been trained on a vast amount of text data, allowing it to generate responses on a wide range of topics and with a high degree of accuracy. Third, ChatGPT can be fine-tuned on specific tasks or domains, making it adaptable to different contexts and able to improve its performance over time. ChatGPT can generate responses in multiple languages, making it useful for international applications. So now let us look at some limitations of ChatGPT. ChatGPT's responses are based solely on the patterns it has learned from the pre-training data and additional training data. This means that its responses may be biased or incomplete, particularly when dealing with complex or nuanced topics. Second, ChatGPT does not have a true understanding of the meaning of language but instead relies on statistical patterns in text. This can lead to occasional errors or nonsensical responses. Third, ChatGPT is not capable of engaging in extended conversations or building long-term relationships with users. It is designed to provide individual responses to specific queries. Fourth, ChatGPT's responses can be influenced by the quality and relevance of the input text. If the input text is ambiguous or contains errors, ChatGPT's response may be less accurate or relevant. Now we'll look at memory-based responses, which is a core feature of ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a language model that generates response based on its understanding of patterns in text data. It does not have a true memory in the sense that it does not retain information from previous conversations or queries in the same way that humans do. 
However, ChatGPT can generate responses that appear to be memory based by leveraging its ability to recognize patterns and relationships in language. For example, if a user asks a follow-up question related to a previous query, ChatGPT can generate a response that builds on the previous conversation based on its understanding of the context and the patterns in the language. Additionally, ChatGPT can be fine-tuned on specific tasks or domains using additional training data. So this allows it to improve its performance on specific tasks over time and generate responses that are more relevant and accurate based on its understanding of the domain. Now let us look at what kind of questions can you ask ChatGPT. So you can ask ChatGPT a wide variety of questions on a range of topics like general knowledge questions. Example, what is the capital of France? Then science and technology questions. For example, how does a vaccine work? You can also ask ChatGPT historical questions like what were the causes of World War II? You can ask ChatGPT cultural questions. For example, what are the traditions associated with Chinese New Year? And you can also ask it personal questions like what are some tips for improving productivity? You can also ask ChatGPT open-ended questions like what do you think about the future of artificial intelligence? Keep in mind that ChatGPT's responses are based on patterns and relationships in text data and may not always be accurate or complete. Additionally, ChatGPT may not have access to the most up-to-date information as its training data only goes up to a certain point in time. However, ChatGPT is constantly improving and updating its responses based on the data it's trained on and its feedback that it receives from its users. So now we'll look at what can you use ChatGPT for. So ChatGPT can be used for a variety of applications including businesses. For businesses, ChatGPT can offer a way to automate customer service and support providing quick answers to common queries and resolving issues efficiently. In education, ChatGPT can act as a virtual tutor, providing students with access to educational resources and personalized assistance to aid in their learning. In research, ChatGPT can be used to generate text for papers and reports as well as to answer questions related to specific research topics. Then, as a personal assistant, ChatGPT can help individuals manage their schedule, send reminders and answer personal queries, making everyday tasks easier to manage. And for entertainment purposes, ChatGPT can be used for fun activities such as playing games, generating jokes and creating memes. In language learning, ChatGPT can help learners practice their skills by providing feedback on their writing or speaking as well as answering questions related to grammar, vocabulary and more. So overall, ChatGPT is a versatile tool that can be used in many different contexts. Its ability to understand natural language and provide personalized responses makes it a valuable resource for a wide range of applications. In conclusion, ChatGPT is a powerful language model that is capable of generating text and answering questions based on its understanding of patterns in text data. Its ability to understand natural language queries makes it a versatile tool that can be used in a variety of contexts including customer service, education, research, personal assistant, entertainment and language learning. While there are limitations to its functionality, such as its reliance on the data it's trained on, ChatGPT's ability to learn and adapt over time makes it a valuable resource for businesses, individuals and researchers alike. As technology continues to evolve, ChatGPT is likely to play an increasingly important role in our daily lives, helping us to communicate more effectively with machines and creating new opportunities for innovation and discovery. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.